bad things are going to happen, okay? And you got to get through it because you're a bad bitch. And if you can't get through it, then I can't get through it. Then we're not bad bitches. So I just really need you to get together, okay? She Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I know time is precious, and I'm really honored when you guys decide to spend any amount of your time with me, which is why I work so hard so that I can give you the very best I can give you. <laughs> Anybody that's totally brand new here, um, my name is Lara. I do all of my stuff in chapter form, and at the end of each chapter, I have what I call commercials, and those are just parodies, stand-up comics, funny people, anything I can find that is funny about these two, because if... We don't laugh. It's just going to be a nightmare. So that's what we're going to do. There's going to be a lot of laughing in this one. Rest assured. So this chapter is called The Huge Difference in MSM as opposed to SM when it comes to Rochel's magnancies. And Lily Bump picks and a photo that will shock you. It did me. <laughs> So in this, you guys, I, I, I've said this early on, but not everybody's been with me since back then, but all of my videos will always have something about her magnancies. They always have, and they always will, and that is because when I first started this, that's what I wanted to know. I wanted the truth to come out. I've been following the, you know, the RF for 40 years, and uh, these two fools for what five six oh my god years already and that's why there's always something in here about them not all not all of the videos about it but there will be something about them in here just wanted to let everybody know that so let's just get right down to it okay so first i want everyone to know when i say msm mainstream media to me that's if you push into google what i did Meghan markle's moon bumps and you know, one, two, three pops up, that's the mainstream media. That's what they're trying to push, right? I mean, we got to really go searching on social media to find anything we really want to find. Um, and this is what popped up when I pushed it in. So I'm telling you, she is trying valiantly, <laughs> E for effort, Rochel, to uh, change the narrative, you guys, because this is an old um, article. And for some reason, why is it popping up now? But you'll see as I go along. But it's 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 crazy. So they, of course, don't put how far along she is or anything like that. But I do. So it, she's supposed to be six months here. But if you go by her original time, it would have been seven months. But <laughs> she was pregnant for ten months, you guys. Like, honest to God. Okay, now they have gone so far as to, because she knew that the rumors were a swirling, to actually have this written. I, I'm positive of it. Four reasons why Meghan Markle's baby bump is always changing. I thought, oh my God, someone's going to actually try to explain it? Got to read this. <laughs> so yeah, this was February 5th, 2019. Everybody get their puke buckets. Okay. The Duchess of Sussex could arguably, arguably be named as one of the most famous women in the world as she's garnered a great deal of interest since her engagement to Prince Harry. Yeah. Glamorous, independent, and a go-getter of the highest order. Meghan's arrival on the perfectly pristine and meticulously manicured grounds of Buckingham Palace has caused some to take to their keyboards to criticize and condemn, not to mention mock Meghan. The trolls of the digital age have tried to make Markle's seamless transition from commoner to Duchess Dynamo into a horror show. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Okay, so they show this one at 1.5 months, which I would say looks normal, but that changes, of course. And nowhere is this more evident than in the constant mudslinging, mudslinging, really now, all right then, of Megan's idyllic maternity moments. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh. 
from being accused of too much bump cradling to coat flicking. Well, because that's because it's true. Okay. Megan has suffered the unfortunate gossip, public scrutiny, and social media backlash that comes with being welcomed into one of the most famous families in the world. Okay, then. Four months. Mm hmm. It seems that Megan's arrival into the royal sphere has brought out hate and harassment on the part of some crazies and clickbait happy media publications. Okay. One of the most ridiculous and downright ludicrous stories is the tale of Megan's baby bump. While some have argued that her tummy is perfectly proportioned, not to mention adorable, <laughs> others have lab labeled her blossoming belly a moon bump and fake. The choir of repro reproach and ridicule has gotten so loud that Megan has even reportedly turned to friend Serena Williams for help. There, she's supposed to be five months. You see why I'm saying that either she wrote this crapola or she got someone else to, but she's involved. <laughs> Bizarre as the claims are, it seems that the tabloid press love to mock and menace Megan. Mm -hmm. In an effort to put the scrutiny and suspicion to rest, here are four reasons why Meghan Markle's baby bump is always changing. Here's the thing, guys. Why do we need any explanation at all? I've never needed an explanation about why my, my pregnancy looked the way it did. I mean, oh my God. Okay. Number one, clothes. The Duchess has a fully stocked wardrobe of beautiful dresses, chic coats, and professional pantsuits. Thus, at every engagement, her clothing will either be more fitted or loose and either emphasize or cloak her burgeoning belly. Why? Why? Okay. The colors, accessories, and print of Megan's clothing can also detract or showcase her new shape. In a Navy Dion Lee dress, Megan looked very slender, and the <clears throat> pleating of the dress disguised her growing tummy. Here it is, uh, 1.5 months, which would look normal. And in another photo, likely taken minutes apart, Megan's bump, it's much more clearly defined. Here's the thing, you people who write this, or, or Rochelle, you shouldn't be showing it all at 1.5 months. Like, I'm being generous by saying 1.5 months. Like, she just missed her period. But we all know that that didn't happen. But let's just all pretend this was real. <laughs> because no, no, I say no. Number two, angles. On a royal tour stop in New Zealand in October, Megan appeared to have a very slim waistline. Yeah, because she was barely two months, so she should. A different photograph taken from another angle and essentially a side view of Megan's torso revealed a much more, I don't have anything there, I apologize, a much more bigger bump is what I think it should say. <laughs> I apologize about the last one, you guys. That's not very professional of me. I've gotten into putting, you know, pictures on stuff and I guess I missed... I put a picture over the last line. All right. <laughs> Number three is lighting. In certain lighting, Megan's bump will be more easily visible, while in other settings, her bump will be less easily detected. Okay. I'm looking at it. Two months. Hmm. Okay. In the photo taken in October of the Duchess in New Zealand with Prince Harry, Megan looks very trim and slender. In another photo taken during the same outing, Megan's bump is more evident. Are you kidding me right now? Are they literally trying to make us believe that that previous picture we just saw, I'm going to go back to it, this picture right here is anywhere close to that? Really? Especially when you're supposed to be two months long. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> Lordy, help me. P 
posture is number four. If Megan is seated or standing, slouched or standing up straight, leaning forward or leaning back, these actions will all change the view the camera gets of her midsection. <laughs> Megan outfitted in Jason Wu looks to have a nearly invisible baby bump in Fiji during a side profile photograph. 1.5 months. Well, she shouldn't have a bump, should she? Other forward-facing shots from the same appearance reveal a different fuller frame. At 1.5 months, are you kidding me right now? Good grief. Like, seriously, good grief. Finally, Megan's bump may change due to optical illusions from the camera as well as due to the time of day. What? How much food or drink the Duchess has consumed? Water retention? And even if the baby has moved, that's the end of that article. Are you joking? So I put that picture in there, of course. And I said, or, okay, I know this sounds crazy, but it could also be because she was wearing a moon bump and wasn't pregnant. Nice try, though. <laughs> Good God. I can't believe this crap. So... I actually found a few lily bumps because there's not that much out there. And I hadn't seen this photo before. And it says, oh, and also we're pregnant. So this is her announcement of lily, I'm assuming. Well, it is, yes. Megan makes a giddy revelation, Netflix. And why, pray tell, is her stuff always blurry AF? Like, that is how I find it. It's crazy. Okay, some of these I don't have a date for you guys. Like, that drives me crazy that I don't, but I don't. Um, when the Netflix was going on, when they taped and stuff is different than when they actually, re you know, put it out. And uh, Anyways, I'll still show you Lily because we haven't seen much of Invisibed, have we? So, this is one of them, which I thought was... <laughs> Yeah, okay, good one, Rachel. This one I do because it's Christmas time, so she would have been three months. All right, then. <laughs> what? I know we've all seen this one, but like I said, there isn't many bumps of Lily like Archie, right? Because she went into hiding because we know why. So I have no idea. Um, I know that is not Archie. There's no way in hell. I, 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 I know, I, I think I know who that one is. Who wrote this? Whomst? Whomst among us? What? <laughs> Good God. Whomst? Whomst? Whom among us didn't take the bathroom bump selfie? Well, I didn't because we didn't have that back then, but. <laughs> so, yeah, this is her, you know, I guess checking to make sure it looks Okay, I get. I don't know what she's doing. I know we've seen this one, but like I said, we have very few of Lily, so I thought I'd put it out because it, it just looks crazy. It just does. This doesn't look normal in any way, shape, or form. And apparently this is when they were watching their own interview on Oprah for the first time. I don't believe that either. No, no way was this the first time. <laughs> Here's another one where she was, you know, for the Netflix crew, of course, pretending to be like a caring mom or something. Isn't this when they were, I don't know, doing, I don't know, they were doing something in the garden. <laughs> something. Another one. No idea how far along she says she is here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, of course, there's this one we all know of, and this is why she didn't go out anywhere, because this can be dated. This was April 21st, five and a half months pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Really? Okay, so you're trying to convince us, Rochel, that you're five and a half months long, and that your child, who, whoever's kid, is literally leaning on your bump like, no. No, I'm sorry. And there's nothing in that lunch bag or whatever and nothing in that bag that the child's carrying either. It just looks way too light. 
This was completely a photo op, and it was a ridiculous one. And she, her stupid feet are falling out of her shoes. I know they're backless, but I mean, they're obviously too small. She does have big feet, but still. Then, of course, I have to show this one because this is the one we have that's dated again. And it was a live Zoom call, so it wasn't just a, oh, bad shot or bad lighting or whatever crap they're trying to pull. No. This was her at nine months, supposedly. It was like, oops, I forgot something. Oh, my God. And I saw this picture and had to share just because they write Little Archie with Mama. I didn't write that. There's no way. And whoever's child that is, look at her hair. It's right in his face. Uh, what in the hell? And you know what? Whenever she's in those, what is that corn? I don't know. I always think of the Children of the Corn. <laughs> that horror movie. Because <laughs> that's what it looks like, Children of the Corn. <laughs> Okay, before I show you the, the photo that really was like holy moly to me, <laughs> um, I just wanted to read you something short that shows how we look at it. This is Quora, so it's social media, but it, it doesn't matter. This is way more truthful, right? So anyways, it says, The queen asked more than once for H&M to bring their kids to visit, yet her loving grandson always said no. Travel would not ha, would not have been so difficult. We, the ordinary people, can only relate to plane travel with very small children as nothing short of a logistical nightmare. Right? I traveled a number of times via plane with my three, varying from age five months to teens, and it requires the precision and planning equivalent to a military operation. Yep. I should state also this is... If they had the children with them, I don't believe they do, but that's for everyone else to decide on their own. But anyways, that's what they say on here, but I'll just read that. However, not for Harry and Rocho. They often fly via private jet. I will add images here so we can all see the comfort, privacy, and much easier mode of travel that the Sussexes have access to. Now, I put the pictures there because they didn't for some reason. I don't know why, but maybe I missed it. But those are the insides of private jets, literally. So, oh, that's real tough, isn't it? Yet, they always said no. Similarly, they were also invited with the children to Balmoral by King Charles, and they always said no. They go to family skiing holidays without the children, despite the people who they are holidaying with bringing their children along. They go to polo meets where everyone else brings their children except them. Wouldn't Harry now love to start sharing the Invictus moments with Archie? No, apparently not. They could have put the speculation haze around them to bed many times. Except no, they can't do that. No, no. Why not? If we assume that they have children, how will this affect their children in the future? Will they always keep them hidden, apart from society, children in the attic? That was such a good <laughs> book, by the way. What happens when they get older? Won't they be allowed to take selfies with their friends? Go on school excursions? Participate in this modern world like all other children? What will they say when they discover that their great nanny was the greatest queen of England, the UK and the Commonwealth, yet they have no photos with her? What will Archie say when he realizes he could have participated in the coronation of King Charles III? Is this normal behavior of a mom? Never seen with her children in any social situation. Never seen pushing the pram or stroller at the markets or in a park or at a mother and baby gathering or a mother and baby yoga class. Not one whisper from anyone in regards to them. Not from a kindergarten teacher or a fellow kindly parent. No talk ever of attending parent evenings or gatherings. And I just put that picture there because it was an empty stroller. She was literally walking around with an empty stroller. Let's forget the extremely odd pregnancy narrative. 
Let's observe the here and now and the future of those children. The behavior of both parents is decidedly strange. To all this, we add the fact that Harry and Meghan, I believe, have traveled extensively by private jet since relocating to the U.S. and each time have not traveled with their children. It's decidedly odd that that the children never appear to leave the compound and the few images shared are grainy, blurred, back of heads are taken at a long distance. So, this obviously gives rise to many questions and many of those questions could be resolved quite simply. It is in fact seen as child abuse to deny children the ability to socialize with others and to explore and be exposed to the world around them. Lack of socialization can lead to altered mental health in adolescence and adulthood. One may very well ask then, if these children do indeed exist, should not the king as a concerned grandparent take legal action and steps for the best interests of the children? When one considers this singular mode of parenting or non-parenting, one may very well ask the questions as to whether Harry or Meghan are fit parents. No, that's why that the kids don't live with them. That's just me, sorry. It seems to me that Harry is indeed inflicting his generational trauma upon his children by providing a very Victorian and regressive upbringing. In fact, a modified version, one where children should not be seen as well as not heard. That's the end of that. And it's 100% true. I just don't think the kids live with them. And thank God if they don't. And I will rephrase, I don't believe Lily exists for them, if there is a Lily. Um, I do believe there's an Archie. I don't know if that's his name, but yeah. So here's that picture, guys. Now, what's so shocking is that it was Eugenie who put it out. I didn't write that on the bottom. I'll read it, but I didn't write it. The mother of two shared a series of snaps on Instagram to celebrate her love on his 38th birthday with the previously unseen family photos showing the couple on the beach with their three-year-old son, August. And I wrote on top, and I put that on the side, Archie and August. Holy... You can, there is nobody on this earth who could tell me that's not the same child. I'm sorry, but that's the same child. It is. Look at his haircut even. Like, obviously these pictures were taken around, you know, that time or whatever. But what kills me is that Eugenie put these out, you guys. So what does that mean? Does that mean that she's freaked out about getting cut off so she's now going to flip sides? Or what? Because this says a lot. I almost crap myself when I saw this. Like, it says everything to me. It really does. I mean, these are previously unseen. Why were they unseen? Because they look like Archie. Because they... Yeah, that's exactly it. So, I believe that the kid in the Netflix was August. And I know Eugenie was down there when Netflix was uh, taping. So, I mean, take it from there, right? So, anyways, that was a little bit longer. I don't usually like to go as long, but I wanted to get through this. And because uh, I will treat ourselves to some really great commercials. So, let's watch some really great commercials. They will not meet the king while he's in the UK this week. Harry landed in London this morning ahead of an event marking 10 years since the Invictus Games launched. However, a spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex told GB News... My family literally cut me off financially. You were just money-grabbing royals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No comment. Cambridge, William and Kate, welcome. Thank you. I see you're sporting a full new head of hair, Will. <laughs> it's really nice to finally go to chat with everyone. Kate, unlike Megan, you ooze class, natural charm, charisma, sensuality. <laughs> and it seems like you might have a filthy sense of humor. She's got a really no sense of humor. And you've obviously inherited your mother's good looks. <laughs> Kate, 
What was it like being forced to attend family dinners with your new, humorless, jealous sister-in-law? We had quite an awkward situation because both of us were there, sort of looking at each other and feeling quite awkward about it. What did you guys talk about? About how not to pull her weight at work. I wasn't very happy about it. She's uh, quite lazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> how did she take that? Total shock. She went bright red and sort of scuttled off. William, my bullshit alarm went off when Megan claimed that she didn't Google anything about the royal family. Can we cut through the BS? What's your honest take on Megan? Well, I think, <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't believe everything she says. She's such a Diana wannabe. She quite literally wants to fill her shoes, and her dresses, and her makeup, and her jewelry. She's not going to fill my mother's shoes. No fucking way. Um... If Megs were sitting in front of you guys right now, what would you say to her after everything that's gone down? I'd be quite happy with your marriage, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick fire round now. William, do you have a dirty sense of humor like Diana? I've got a very dirty sense of humor, yeah. <laughs> Kate, I bet you're glad you got the good brother. Of course, yes. Yeah. What do you guys think of Oprah? You hear a lot of horror stories about her. She's not got a sense of fun and excitement. I hope my interview technique was fun and exciting for you. Yes, it's a real relief. The interview was really nice. It was good fun. There's something very special about the situation. There's, there's possibly something that I want to explore there. What is this going to come? This is Meghan Markle in an apron, jeans, and a white blouse. I'm so relatable. And we're barefoot in the kitchen. Harry. Yes, pick these for me outside. He's still out there. <laughs> He's a prince, so I love that about him. <laughs> Why we can't get rid of that Yankee Wally. Are you listening? I am, but what do you want me to do? My safety is in danger. Don't you care that people want to throw tomatoes at me? I can't go see Granny if I am not safe, and there is no way I will let Murchie and Lilybucks go without a camera crew. If we do not get Metro security, you can go over by yourself. But don't plan on coming back. It is highly unlikely the police will cover us, and I don't think a decision will be made in time for the event. Couldn't you wear a baseball cap and sunglasses if we go out? My dad said we could stay with him and use his security by default. Did you not understand that Yankee Wally wants to throw tomatoes at me? I am famous and people are jealous of me. Isn't protecting me at all costs matter to you? I am trying. I don't want history to repeat itself. I can't live without you. You are my world. If I have to sell both of my kidneys to protect you, I will do it. Please let me sleep inside tonight. Oh, baby, you really mean that? Yep, if that is what it will take. Can I also get those new Jimmy Choo Spring 2022 pink heels? How much are they? Only 20 grand. 20 grand for a pair of shoes. Yes, dear, you know where to find my wallet. Amazing. You just made mommy very, very happy. You may just get some spicy poon tang tonight. See you tonight. Have dinner ready by the time I come back. Yes, dear. I will have it ready and waiting to serve my princess. Man, fuck my life. Papa, I want to come home. Please send the jet. She has just left the house. Don't you just love them? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> this chapter, I only have two guys, two chapters. It's the current updates. MSM's lies, bits and bobs from online, juicy blinds, new and old. They're fun, you guys, for real. <laughs> uh, it, this is Aiko's water cooler gossip uh, chapter, where we have some truth and some gossip, and just it's the most fun chapter. So I won't stay on this long because everybody knows, right, that the king said no, basically, and, and did his garden party. And I say he made the right choice. He did. King Charles is too busy to see Harry in her message, message of rejection as Meghan hires PR pro to fix her appalling public image. Huh. Look at that. A representative of the Duke of Sussex said father and son can't meet during Harry's London visit because of King Charles's busy schedule. Good for you, King Charles. Good for you. Finally, something. The BBC News didn't have much to say, say either. Like, this was it. Harry and King at London events, but not meeting. 
The Duke of Sussex has attended a service at St. Paul's Cathedral in London during a brief visit to the UK. Prince Harry was speaking at the event to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, the sporting competition for injured service men and women he helped found. Helped is the, yeah. Meanwhile, the king, whose cancer treatment is ongoing, met members of the public at a Buckingham Palace garden party a little over two miles away. <laughs> two miles, you guys. The two are not scheduled to see each other while both are in London. And that's it. That's all they wrote. Wow. So I don't want to stay too long on this. This is the only pictures I'm putting out. There is some stuff in the new blinds about this, so there will be more. But <clears throat> all I said is, where is all your needed security, has no Harry? Honestly, he's... Where's the this massive security he needs? He's in the UK, right? Isn't that the most dangerous place for him? Oh, he's putting on a brave face today, it says. Yeah, bite me. I know that there's footage of, um, you know, yay, he's here, whatever, right? But I knew there'd be other footage, and there is, of him, you know, being booed. Um, so yeah, you know what? I think I'll, I'll put that on. It's only for a few seconds, but it gives me great joy. <laughs> I sound mean, but he's horrible. You guys, he's a horrible human being. Okay, so that's enough of him for the moment. I saw this and I was like, oh my God, are you serious? Because this lady's like 43% um, Nigerian. And someone says, wonder where she got that from, not an original bone in her body. Did she steal this too from this Justine Sky? Like 43%, that's a pretty, you know, a number that you wouldn't just pull out of a hat. So... Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me one iota if she did. So a sub sent me this, and I almost died, you guys. Like, what? So this is another big whopper. Rochelle's been curtsying since she was a child. Because at her school, they were seated by grade and often with the boys on one side and the girls on the other. The day would start with the boys bowing and the girls curtsying. Oh, my God. Wow. Seriously, wow. She's something else. And then I saw this and was like, what the? I said, Rachel's sicker than we thought, and hapless Harry fell for her crapola. Royal exclusive. At the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Princess Beatrice overheard Meghan say to Prince Harry, your mom talked to me this morning during yoga, and she's really glad that we're here. Hashtag Meghan Markle's cuckoo. Hashtag mental Markle strikes again. I had heard this before that she'd done this, but oh my God. She, um, I, uh, she, keeps, she gets me tongue twisted almost. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to get straight to the blinds so that this doesn't go too, too long. But anyways, this one is, Jess Harry would love to reconnect with Kate Middleton if William would allow it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Kate Middleton can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's the Princess of Wales. Talk about flogging a dead horse. And I know this is a rubbish article. And yes, I still shared it. Because the desperation to appear royal adjacent is starting to smell even worse. So I put on the bottom, because these are what was out there, right? First off, this is them putting Prince Harry would love to reconcile with Princess Kate. And you know that it's them because they say Kate, right? It's Catherine. So anyways, that was one article. And then because uh, they got the hell no, then you can tell that Rachel paid somebody, obviously, well, Tom Quinn or whomever, 
to say Harry would like a reconciliation but supports his wife completely and until she feels that the Roe family have been sufficiently nice to her and grovingly apologized for the past, it's not going to happen. Are you kidding me right now? How about fuck off? How about that? As we say in Canada when we curse, excuse my French. <laughs> I don't usually, but she just riled me up. So, okay. So a couple comments, because we have a lot of lines of really good ones, so I didn't go too far, but that Marco woman wanted him and is used to getting men is used to getting men by throwing herself at them. <laughs> Henrold is just jealous. Yeah. Hey, Harry, F all the way off. The audacity for him saying he wants to see P Princess Catherine after the way he allowed his wife to attack her. Also, to make it seem like William is blocking him for a visit. Harry, she doesn't want to see you. No one, not even the squirrels in the trees want to see you. <laughs> F all the way off. And then F off from there. <laughs> oh, man, I love people. We little Harry allowed the Princess of Wales to be called a racist. Not only does she not want to see him, I'm sure William is blocking any and all attempts to get to her by <laughs> the nuts. We Harry's narcissistic personality is on full display, isn't it? So then someone was talking about what Princess Catherine would, or what uh, Meghan would be asking Harry. How does she look? Ugly, right? Old? Did you get a photo? Make sure it's as unflattering as possible. Did anyone ever hear what, if anything, happened to the assholes that hacked uh, Catherine's medical information or access? Sorry. He's also he also branded her a racist. So I don't think William being protective of his wife is the only thing standing in the way of a reconciliation. Perhaps the one William is protecting is Harry. Because if I were Catherine, I'd tear the useless piece of crap a new one. <laughs> I got great humor out of this blind, I'll have to say. In light of their mission, I'm not sure firing someone for not moving people to empty seats is the way the athletic organization really should be going. So someone got fired, hey? That's absolutely insane. One sad little car and one security guard accompanying the ginger winger is to hold back the crowds and ensure his safety from the nasty UK at Invictus today. And look, yeah empty huh okay so i'm gonna skip the comments on that one because they weren't that great because i've got some really good stuff coming up and i don't want this to go i didn't want it to go this long but it seems to be anyways <laughs> i'm just a blabber anyways um i saw this met gala 2024 can one skip an event to which one wasn't invited <laughs> town and country put it out Meghan Markle and prince harry skipped the 2024 met gala that's because they weren't invited. <laughs> then I found a gold mine, you guys. Oh, my God. Some MM blinds that have been more or less confirmed in VL's book. I'm not sure who VL is. Maybe somebody could help me out there. But these are older blinds that have been confirmed to be true. So I'm, I didn't want to go this long. So I'm going to just do a few and then I'll do some next time. But oh, holy crap. Okay. This one was August 6th of 2018. Well, July 29th, 2018, but they posted it. Okay. How do you make a little extra money if you have no income and not allowed to work to generate any income, but definitely have some things you want to buy and others you need to pay off to keep things quiet? Well, if you are this former actress, you get clothes from friends that were given to them for free that you will wear. You then have that person in charge of the checkbook buy those clothes at full market value. The friends then split the money with our former actress 50-50. She's actually making more money now from this little ruse than she ever did yachting or acting. She was never a really big earner yachting wise. <laughs> so holy wait. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to read some of the comments under this one, and then I'm going to think I'm going to save some of the rest for another time because I didn't want to make this too long, you guys. But there is some hella juicy stuff going on, trust me. Okay, that was an old known rumor that she and Mulrooney pulled on Charles. A 150k for a caftan dress, pull the other one. It was a con. The royal family paid for it, sounds like from Jessica, and they split the cash. 
I don't understand why, though. I don't deny that she'd do something like that and probably pat herself on the back for thinking up such a clever scam. But what would she uh, do with cash? I imagine if Charles was paying for her clothes, he'd pay for her yoga classes and lattes and plastic surgery, too, wouldn't he? It just seems like she's sh shooting herself in the foot by wearing ill-fitting clothes and then collecting cash for what real purpose. Not to mention she can't have been worried about the damage it would do the RF, realizing she scammed them. Him? How stupid. I'm sure she was too arrogant to imagine getting caught, though. I went back to my old days when I would push... <laughs> okay. The ill-fitting part may have to do with the fact that Megan and Jessica allegedly returned or sold the clothes afterwards. So Charles would pay 150 uh, pounds, okay, 150,000 pounds, and then they'd make another 100,000 on top of that. They'd only be able to do this with clothes, jewelry, and the like. Didn't anybody wonder where all the clothes went disappeared to, though? I've heard that all of Duchess Catherine's clothes, the high-end outfits for special occasions, are cataloged and stored somewhere to use again at a later date. So wouldn't Harry and her staff wondered why her closet was so empty? Not if Harry was in on it. I'm just saying, oh, I sent all those dresses to California. Okay, yeah, Harry could have been in on it. So my UK subs, you're going to have to let me know if this is true. Someone said, I don't think this was so much of a blind in the UK. Lots of insiders reported this scam she'd been going on, she had going on with Jessica Mulrooney. Oh, wow, really? How awful that it was so brazen and everybody knew about it then. How hard up for Cass with Jessica that she did that. Some people are just greedy through and through. Someone else says, maybe she fell out with Jessica because she was holding, but <clears throat> because she was holding by ditching Jessica, she could shake this story. Someone said, drugs. Wow. One of the most interesting aspects of these is that they all come from 2018 or earlier. I'm an NT reader and a fan of the site, so maybe I'm biased. But over time, he does seem to get an awful lot of tips that turn out to be true. And in the early days of Has and MM, there's less to lose from a tipster passing on details to NT. <clears throat> right? NT is the only blind items I trust. I also follow him on TikTok. She and Jessica ripped off Charles. He paid full price for her crappy wardrobe. Imagine the future King of England is your father-in-law. He gives you a super generous budget to buy clothes, among the other goodies at your disposal. What do you do? You run a scam on him. Deplorable. Harry is so stupid. Thanks for resurrecting these nuggets of intel from the past. Nice to see the vindication, aka receipts. Hmm, dark secrets. What about the what? Wonder what the firm's got on MM now. The gloves are off. They aren't scr <clears throat> scrambling to change content because they have because they have any con conscience to attack. That much we know. TRF has way more on MM than she has on them. If something truly sensational comes out, that sounds like it wouldn't have been passed on to her that she probably made it up. These blind items are eerily spot on. Goosebumps. Kudos to whoever made them back in 2018. That was empty. So I'm going to read one more and then we'll get to commercials. Ooh, two for one. September 27th, oh, my birthday, to 2018. This illiterate former B-list, mostly television actor, actress with A++ list name recognition has been showing her diva side and complained to one of her friends that she doesn't really like interacting with regular people, but considers it's part of the job. Oh, my God. No wonder she thought she ought to be paid for meeting regular people. She is regular people. Oh, my God. Okay. Next blind item, November 10th, 2018. Apparently, the diva behavior on a recent trip was nothing compared to the verbally abusive thrashing the employee took on that trip when things were not perfect. The employee threatened to sue because of how bad the abuse was, which would have become public. The employee instead was given a check and an apology by the in-laws of the former actress turned abuser. Holy crap, you guys. This all came true. This all happened now. This is in 2018. There's more of this where this comes from, guys. I'm, like, obsessed with these things. Let me know, please, in the comments if you guys like these. 
because I don't want to be doing if you don't like them, but I love them. <laughs> I love going back in the past and seeing if they were right or, or what kind of secrets we can find out. I didn't realize that, that she was running a scam with Jessica. I didn't know that. So, you know, anyways, let me know. I would really love to know. Okay, now we're going to have some commercials and I'm going to end this and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, thank you for being here. And oh yes, I have um, a Patreon and uh, I will have a new one, you guys, my Patreon people, uh, a new one this weekend and it's going to blow everybody's socks off. It blew mine off. So if anybody wants to go there, it's ACO980. Uh, it's $4 a month, but yeah, it's absolutely insane, the stuff I've found. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, I will see you next time. Let's just watch some funny stuff. Moment that you were able to be liberated from all of these other opinions. Then you can move on from being a quiz show bimbo, a cock rustler for cash. And you could also include a description like this. A nasty, arrogant, respectless, calculated, insulting, self-serving, indulgent, silly twat. A narcissist. And that's an acronym for it. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to discuss this. This is very important. You're running a little behind here. Now, listen. Now, jar number four. This has to go out on the 12th before 3 p.m. Yeah. Now, then we have jar number seven. And that has to go out on the 14th. But, but make sure that is before midnight. After 8 p.m. before midnight. Now, jar number 12, that is going out on the 17th. Now, I don't really care when she posts it, but she just has to make sure her children are eating the jam. And, and speaking of that, why did jar number 18, why did she not eat the jam? She was supposed to spread it on the toast and eat it. Now she's gonna have to redo that Instagram post. I, I honestly don't even care. She has to redo it then. That was part of the deal. Well, of course we have to give the lemons. Now how would they know it's strawberry jam without the lemons? You, you, use your head. And also, did you pick up more of the crinkly confetti paper for the bottom of the bowl? Because it's you're not using enough. You, you have to use more. It's a very classy look. So make sure you do that. And, and real. Toss in a box. Whatever you don't care about anymore. <laughs>